Hey, hey, Star Wars fans and collectors. Hope you're all very well. Thank you for tuning in to another Vintage Collection action figure review. We've got Obi-Wan Kenobi from Obi-Wan Kenobi, uh, Wandering Jedi. So yeah, this is a this is a nice looking card, nice looking figure, really nice looking figure actually. Yeah, didn't pick it up with the last batch of vintage figures I was able to pick up, but um, got this one now. I'm pretty thrilled about this one. Um, he is number VC two four five, and uh, yeah, la I'm hoping to get the Super Commando in the coming. Coming days or weeks, Anakin possibly as well. Boba Fett, Morak, still not sure where that one's going to be hitting here at all, if it is. But yeah, cool stuff. Really nice looking card. Nice figure, got some good accessories. Got a lightsaber, lightsaber hilt. A little Lola on a clear stand and then an open Lola that he can have in his palm. And a blaster. So without further ado, let's crack into it and uh, take a look at the figure. Let's move the card back away, get rid of all the plastic. A lot of, a lot of tape here, so I'm just going to move them out one by one. here we have Obi-Wan Kenobi finally out of the packaging after a lot of wrestling with tape so again we'll go through his accessories quickly comes with his lit lightsaber hilt which looks nice looks to be a new sculpt definitely a lot skinnier than they have been in the past definitely feel like some of the vintage collection figures was definitely I don't know whether it's just I'm used to black series or whether they've actually been scaled down a bit lightsaber hilt there with a peg on the side the pegs almost as thick as most of the hilt <laughs> we do have a litter little a litter a little lola just as it's a little little clear ball and socket there's a little bit of movement there um let's have his blaster pistol that he carries around with him and then we have a very teeny tiny little Lola and this is three points of articulation little ball sockets for each of their little wings and another ball ball and socket there for the legs and then do 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 so I imagine you can probably swap them out and have Lola with the with the wings open on the pet on the peg but uh yeah they're so tiny So very tiny little accessories, but still very cool. But we're here to look at Obi Wan Kenobi. Get this camera straight; that'd be fantastic. And so it doesn't wobble. So here we have him. He's looking pretty good. Nice looking, you know, nice sculpt. Nice paintwork. Definitely looks like a slightly more dishevelled Ben. Let's see if the hood sort of sits up okay on the... There we go. So it's looking all right. Now the robe is definitely sort of just tightly wrapped around behind him there. And we'll actually take that off for the, for the meantime. But it looks like there's some extra stitching sort of in the in the sleeve there. That looks nice. Not sure what the purpose of that was, but um I don't recall there being like an extra layer there on the on the robe in the show, but that's okay. So yeah, just sort of sort of simple uh simple shirt that he's that he wears at, in the early episodes of the series. And sculpted pretty nicely. Sort of semi-gloved hands. Holster, which I assume works. <laughs> we'll find out right after this break. No, right now. 
So yeah, that slots in there all right. Looks fine. Brown pants, got the sort of wraps around the ankles there, and his boots. So yeah, you can obviously use this Obi-Wan during his first duel with Vader on, can't remember the name of that planet. It was, was that Jabim? No, Jabim was the other planet. I can't remember now. Maybe it was Jabim, I can't remember. But yeah, it looks pretty nice. Nice articulation on the elbows there, gets a lot of movement. Good movement in the middle as well. So you can definitely have him holding that lightsaber with two hands without any trouble at all. So let's check the head. Yeah, it's a new sort of style double double ball joint there. So that looks good. But yeah, pretty nice looking version of Obi-Wan, I dig it. It definitely looks a little bit plain, but still sort of sticking with those sort of colour elements that he has become so sort of associated with. So I'm going to put the robe on. Get him dressed up. Give him his lightsaber. So yeah, without a doubt, we'll be getting a Obi-Wan in his sort of blue outfit from the very beginning, uh, which I really like that look. Um, I really like that sort of blue blue robe he was wearing. And he eventually trans transitioned and evolved into, you know, basically his, his Jedi robes from Revenge of the Sith. Um, you know, weren't exactly the same, but they were pretty close. But yeah, I'm liking it. I, I really do like it. This is a nice, nice Obi-Wan Kenobi action figure. Now I do just want to kind of see how things could be held in his hand. Because there are some photos out there of these figures with like Lola in his hand. I just want to sort of see how it's, you know, it, it's not easy. It's going to take a little bit of work to sort of fiddle around. You know, I guess you could just do that. But that's okay. Good articulation, got those sort of ball socket hips, which is awesome. So it allows for just a little bit more flexibility and movement and potential of a pop-off. Yeah, pop-off. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I like it. Yeah, haven't got the Black Series one yet. Hopefully in the next couple of days I will have my, my pre-order come in. So I'm looking forward to that. So you're just waiting on Obi-Wan and Vader from the Black Series. For the new wave for, for Obi-Wan Kenobi. So yeah, let me know if, let me know what you think about this one. I, I dig it. I'm very, very happy with this figure. And I do want to check if there was a peg hole. There is. But it's right at the back for his lightsaber hilt. Let's see how easily it pegs in. Very nicely. So that's a nice snug fit. So yeah, you can essentially display him with his lit blade and not lose your accessory, but uh, having him clip it to the back of his belt, you know, he's hiding it a little bit more. He's not ready to, to whip out his lightsaber yet. But yeah, let me know what you think. I appreciate you all tuning in. And uh, we'll see you on the next video. Until then, hello there. May the force be with you.